What a prospect we've got. The world number one, Lee Chong Wei of Malaysia against the current world champion, Olympic champion, Lin Dan of China. And now, please welcome in the finalists from Malaysia, Lee Chong Wei. China, Lin Dan. Well, you don't get any better than this. The world number one and two ranked players. The world champion, Olympic champion, Lin Dan against Li Chong Wei in a repeat of the Olympic final in Beijing. And of course, just to remind those of you who didn't see that final, Lin Dan, the left hander, was probably the fastest player I've ever seen on a singles court. He was superb in that Beijing final. Blasted the world number one off court. So, Lee Chong Wei, 26 years of age. Lin Dan, the left hander, one year younger. Chinese player born in Fujian and of course appearing in his sixth consecutive All England final. He's won the title three times in 2004, 2006 and 2007. Beaten last year in the final by Chen Jin. Twice a world champion, Lin Dan, and of course reigning world champion. But as for Li Chong Wei, born in Penang, he has had a tough opening round here at the All England Championships. Lu Yi of China, who dropped the opening game there and perhaps just a little bit slow to get going. But let's make mention of that semi-final yesterday against the former world and Olympic champion, Taufik Hidiat of Indonesia. I have to say, I was bitterly disappointed in that semi-final. Really expected the Indonesian to put up a better show than he did. So for Lin Dan, well, all of his matches in two straight games. Semi-final, as I say, against Chen Jin, last year's winner. And Chen Jin retired halfway through that second game with a bad back, but disposed of Hoskin Pearson of Denmark in the quarter-final. Second game, 21 6. 27 minutes for that. Paul Eric and I sat and commentated on that, and we were just astonished at the ease with which Lindan can win rallies and his injection of pace. Brilliant to watch. Charles Franger, former world champion. 2003 in this very arena he won his world title beating Wong Chun Han in that final and now coaching the men's singles players in China. So the Malaysians Rashid the far side, Misbun Sadek, the two brothers who have both been in All England finals, two sorry, 1986 and 1996 when a certain Rashid Sadek lost to Paul Eric Hoyer Larson. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Yonix All England. Dave Hinton, our uh, umpire for this repeat the of the final. Olympic final. Between Buffin is his right, service judge. Me, Zhang Wei, Malaysia.
the Malaysian. The right-hander in the all-red kit. Linda, China. His sixth consecutive final here at the All England Championships. He's won three times. For Lee Chong Wei, his first ever experience in an All England final. And of course, for the Malaysian, Lee Chong Wei, he's trying to become the first Malaysian to win this title since Mohammed Hafiz Hashim in 2003. What is command of the net? We talked in his previous matches, Lindan, about his injection of pace in the game. It's not just pace of shot, it's the pace of movement, and when he comes forward, he really is lethal. the 14th meeting between these two players in individual competition. And it's the Chinese left-hander who has an overwhelming advantage in the previous head-to-heads. Ten of the previous 13 he's won, including the last four. Just to emphasise, that is in individual competition. So, Paul Eric, obviously, Lin Dan, the overwhelming favourite, giving the past encounters between these two players. But you're a great believer that Li Chong Wei really can yes. win this. I definitely believe that uh, Li Chong Wei has a good chance if he can keep up a high pace. It's very important for Li Chong Wei to keep up the speed in the game because by that. Lin Dan will maybe open up in some areas so that uh, Li Chong Wei can get in with his smashes. And uh, another important thing I would say is around the net. It is very important for Li Chong Wei to get there first. Just missed with his smash. Three, two. Was that 360 kilometers an hour? Surely not. Smashes speed guns on every rally. And this time, the indication that the speed gun was right 265. That's 165 miles an hour. has psychologically scarred the mind of Lee Chong Wei because he was totally outclassed in that final. And do you think that's affected him and, and maybe is a problem for him in this encounter? I definitely believe that his mental attitude coming into this match is affected by that particular final you were talking about because I was there watching it and he was 
totally cracking down. I mean, Lin Dan was so strong, also mentally, so that Lichowai didn't know what he should do and how he could open Lin Dan. And it seems as if right now Lichowai is having some problems. He has dropped a bit of pace now and he's not following Lin Dan. With seven straight points now for Lin Dan. From one, two down. And this is the thing, suddenly he can inject the pace in the rally, but then he maintains that for a period of play where he really gains the advantage. Lindan not ready, just raising his hand to indicate that he wasn't ready, and therefore now play the point again. Oh, oh that's landed in. Oh. shot there, Lindan. And we've talked about these phases where he's so intense with his play and then he does lapse his concentration just a little, allows opponents back in, but with most opponents, he then just can turn on the supreme play once again. When you're up against the world number one, I wonder whether that's really wise or indeed possible. First tournament of the year for Lin Dan. Like all of his teammates, the Chinese team have been in an intensive training camp for two months. Military style training camp, we were told. Oh, it's landed in. Brilliant lift from the Malaysian. Blood on the line. smash straight down the line to be able to find that angle getting in position so quickly so accurate with his smashes Singles is going to be paramount. adrift at one stage now oh, just one point in it oh, 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 oh. wonderful accurate smash again from Lindan and he has a two-point advantage 
at the mid-game interval. <laughs> Only eight tournaments last year for Lindan, and he reached seven finals. Points won from errors. Lee Chong Wei. Eight of his nine points from errors from Lin Dan. That's extraordinary. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. 11-9. Amazing guilty of having played the net shot, backing off, looking for the lift. Absolutely. Um, that is what is happening right now. Lee Chowain not being able to keep his position at the net. It's reversing and maybe a bit afraid of what is coming from in them. Just the power of the smash, it's the angle created by the leap in the air. And that's a lovely cross court net shot. From Lee Chong Wei. 11, 13. Uh, reached out early to take the shuttle as high as possible before guiding it across court. Yes. I think that's something for all aspiring youngsters is to think about when you're playing a cross court net shot, not ne necessarily to think about hitting it, but guiding the shuttle. Way was deflected by the net cord and therefore the lift woefully short. Sometimes that he's so confident in his own play that he'll turn and casually take a backhand, but there he was forced to play it. He certainly was, and uh, it was because Lee Chung Wai was, instead of playing a high clear, he made a very attacking clear in, in the position where Lin Dan was not able to make the round the head shot. Therefore, he had to make the backhand and made a mistake. No, drifted wide. 16, 12. Well, 16. I know he made the error, but look, from that base position, he just jumped. There was no foot movement. The explosive power in his legs to be able to do that. Good judgment. Getting really involved in this 
men's signals final. Plenty of Malaysian flags flying there, and I can assure you that there's also plenty of Chinese support as well. And the neutrals just loving this. Badminton, the two best players in the world. 14, 16. Play. shortlifters come that's the opportunity for men's singles players to play the winner and the short lift had been forced by the quality of the net play from Lee Chong Wei and so there was an indication where the shuttle would fall by where the players feet are as they're playing the overhead smash and you could see he was inside that double service line to just up his pace and play a rally like that. player on. Senses his opponents are getting a little bit tired within the rally, then he goes for his win. It's all level in this opening game. Well, he was there early enough, and that has to go down as an error. And so, for the very first time since the opening rally, the Malaysian goes into the lead. <laughs> Who would have thought at 2-8 down, I thought Lin Dan was cruising. Nineteen seventeen. And the world number one just two points away from this opening game. Well, 
perfectly understandable that the players are nervous at this sort of stage in a match. titles including three previous all englands he plays the big points so well so my goodness what an opening game 20 minutes in duration the scoreline 21 19. most of his winning shots down Lin Dan's forehand side. <laughs> Same era of play as Morton Frost. opening game of this men's singles final 21 19 in 20 Second minutes game. to the former champion Double. Lin Dan Play. both of these players such huge stars in Asia and around the world as far as Babington is concerned Lin Dan you arrive at Beijing Second airport Double. and there's huge Double. posters Double. of Lin Dan advertising and for Lee Chong Wei, of course, he's just been appointed a UNICEF goodwill ambassador. Joins the likes of David Beckham and Roger Federer. That's the sort of status that they regard badminton players in the Far East. One all. Uh, just why? Good call by the line judge. Thinking the whole time we've been watching, we've only seen one bad call. The nine judges really have done a wonderful job throughout the All England Championships. Oh, I guess right. Malaysian's game plan is to not tire out Lindan, but just take a bit of sting out of him. The longer these rallies go on, the more that he won't be able to use this dynamic movement and explosive movement, and that will play into the Malaysian's hands. 
It certainly will, Jill. Um, no doubt about that. The idea of uh, the way Lee Chung Wei is playing, not forcing too much, but just carrying on and uh, also sometimes take the pace out, put the pace up again. And those variations is really giving Lin Dan problems. Oh, the luck of the net board. He apologizes, raises his hand in apology. That overhead action looking exactly the same whether he's going to play it straight or cross court. And yeah, that racket handle, it's extraordinary, isn't it? Paul Eric, only half a grip on the handle. Halfway down the handle, just the wooden part of the handle. How on earth he plays with that, I just don't know. so far. Three, four. Oh, he's not happy with that. Like the court, please. And the court will need to be marked. Paul Eric, can you enlighten us to what on earth the theory would be over that grip? I went and asked him once about why he had no grip on his racket handle, only half a grip, as it were, and he said, well, that's because I like it like that. So I thought, well, yeah, I did ask a bit of a stupid question, really. But, but what on earth can the theory be behind that? Any, any ideas? It's so unusual. Well, there can be uh, uh, variations of it. First of all, in order to have the, the right grip of the racket, right. well, sometimes... Well, I've always been taught that not to uh, have the grip up uh, at the racket, but keep it the way down at the bottom because therefore you will get the best action in your racket with your arm so maybe that's one of the reasons another reason could be that uh, why put a piece of uh, tape on or grip on when it's not needed yeah but the problem is i'm sure that his forefinger actually is on the exposed bit of wood anyway we'll maybe have a little look at that if we can later on Tremendous. Moving the Malaysian from side to side. Forced to play the high backhand. Thank you. Yeah, you see his forefinger there, there's no grip underneath it. I, I can understand the theory completely, what you're saying, that you should hold the the racket as far down the handle as possible. Right. But to me, that really is very odd. Who am I to argue he's world and Olympic champion? You see, now you can clearly see his thumb and forefinger do not have any grip underneath it. It's just the wooden handle of the racket. Yeah, you're certainly right about that. The only thing I can see is there's some white tape as well. And uh, he's holding uh, his fingers with um, around that white tape, which is just on top of the, the, the grip. Strange. Um, I cannot give you any um, decent explanation. Mm. So all level in this second game. Fans getting very involved in this match. Great move 
Griezmann from Lee Chong Wei. He glides about the court. Moves like a cat about to spring on its prey. Moves low and hits high with the shuttle. Leaps up towards the shuttle. to play the round the headshot and then creates an angle across court that just seemed impossible. Absolute sellout here today at the National Indoor Arena. going to suit Linda and more. asking for a change of shuttle. And Dan obliging. Well, it's good to see it has become a bit of a tradition in Pappenden in recent times that the two players on court start arguing about whether the shuttle should be changed or not. He's missed it. Lee Chong Wei has hit long of that back line. And the Sadek brothers both give each other a wry smile. They know that was a golden opportunity. for a half smash, but the angle and putting no real pace on the shuttle did the damage. to take the shuttle early at the net, stretch forward. Smash down his forehand side. Such a 
such a good variation in the smashes and then first the cross court smash and now the straights really difficult for the opponent to move to the right direction oh. yes and as i thought that the malaysian was beginning to look for the smash down his forehand side oh. you're absolutely right oh. lindan also sensing that and recognizing that fact and therefore switching it to the malaysian's backhand the winners at the net well lindan as so often in his matches very dominant from the front of the court 20 seconds 20 seconds with that nine, toss drop nine. shot just bringing the shuttle down so quickly when he's asking lindan to put pace on the shot himself his defensive shot lindan isn't so good he likes to feed off the power and the speed of the shuttle from his opponent of Lee Chong Wei from the Malaysian fans. Oh, what a miss hit from the left-hander. Quinn for the backhand kill at the nets. The shuttle hit the frame of the racket. 11, 12. And therefore an easy opportunity. Look at the way that both are trying to get the opponent out of balance. Every time, just small hesitations in the way they are uh, hitting the shot, and uh, therefore they are getting their better position compared to the, the opponent. But both are doing it, and it's uh, throughout the whole rally such an interesting uh, thing to watch how well that they do this. Yes, and also the fascinating thing yeah. to me when they when they have been sent the wrong direction how fast they are to change direction okay, and then you. recover and get the shuttle back and get the shuttle back with interest. 14, 11, Play.
Oh, I thought that was going out. He's enjoyed a huge amount of success, the Malaysian, with that half smash straight down the line. From the round the head position, here it comes again. Lin Dan has to put pace on the shuttle himself, and he struggles to do so. Court clear from Lee Chong Wei. Really invited the smash straight down the line because that meant that the Malaysian had the full width of the court to cover. at this crucial stage. Amazing coaches still nodding encouragement to their man. can you do to counteract it? Well, oh, perhaps hoping a change of shuttle will bring a change of fortune. Two points away from the title. Sure, Trunja just sits there, nods his approval. Landed in, misjudgment from Lee Chong Wei. Six straight points for Lin Dan from 14 12 to 20 12 and eight match points. between quite clearly the top two players in the world in men's singles. Thumbs up from Lin Dan. Very disappointing performance from him 12 months ago when he lost out to teammate Chen Jin. But he's redeemed himself this year. Can't argue with his commitment. And for Lee Chong Wei, his first All England final, obvious disappointment for him. But this man is an extraordinary talent. Twenty-one nineteen, twenty-one twelve, the scoreline. And for the fourth time in six years, Lin Dan is the All England champion.